Money Sign Eric here, welcome back to another video. Today we got three things on the menu. One, get a tattoo. Two, eat a fried chicken sandwich. And three, make a fried chicken sandwich. To be completely honest with you, I wasn't going to make or upload this video, mostly because my daily routine is the same thing every goddamn day. Eat food, play video games, go to the gym, clean the apartment, treat Viv like a queen. <laughs> It's just really repetitive to me, and I feel like it's repetitive for you guys too. But ultimately, I had to put this video out because one, I love you guys, and you guys need something to watch while you eat, and two, I need to pay my fucking rent. Actually, before we begin, if you guys don't know, I do have my own personal mailbox now, so if you guys would like to send me letters or packages or mail or any kind of mail, uh, feel free, the address is in my description. So far, all I've gotten are packages from like these companies that want free promo, and I'm not gonna show it because I don't give free promo. But yeah, if any of you guys are interested, uh, send it through, and I will do like unboxings like in my videos. Today, I am getting a tattoo. <laughs> and? And, and what? Okay. Think, dumbass think, bitch. Wait, and what? And it was part of my birthday gift. Oh yeah, okay. Well, I didn't think I had to mention Okay, so I actually did have to mention it because otherwise Viv was gonna pout for like 20 minutes. We went to Dunkin' Donuts uh, to get some hash browns. And Viv and I were just camping out here because the tattoo place is right across the street from this Dunkin' Donut. So the place is called Area 6 Tattoo Studio. The actual studio itself was pretty cool as well. My tattoo artist's name is Rundy or Rundy. I actually don't know how to pronounce it. I'm sorry. But here's her Instagram. If you guys want to check it out, uh, Viv got an appointment for me by DMing her. She was super nice and also very talented. And if you guys want to see it, I'll show it at the end of the video. 안녕하세요, 어머님. 지금 이 비디오 보고 있으면요, 되게 죄송합니다. 타투가 temporary요, temporary, permanent 아니고 temporary, three weeks. 그러니까 나한테 전화하고 소리 지르지 마고요. 그냥 행복하게 살아요. 우리 어머님 착한 아들과 거의 이거 three week에 주워요. 응? 괜찮아요. 아, 감사합니다. 잘 있어요. What it do, baby? We back in Brooklyn now. I just got my tattoo, and it is currently wrapped up into some ran wrap and some aquaphor, and we're going to let it heal. And uh, right now, Viv and I are going to Trader Joe's because we need to go grocery shopping for the week. Viv and I are budgeting for two weeks because we've been looking at our expenses and it's kind of ridiculous how much, uh, how much money we've been spending on food. We're gonna buy groceries that are gonna last us for two weeks and we're spending $30 each, so 60 total. Okay, so, ah, ah. The tape under my arm is like pulling on my skin in certain positions and it just hurts. But I ain't no bitch. Trader Joe's haul right here. I mean, this is everything. This is everything that we're going to be eating for the next two weeks. We're just going to make, oh, we also got eggs, of course. Spent a total of $56.85. Pretty good budgeting, if I do say so myself. Well, okay, well, first of all, there's just no fucking way this lasts us two weeks. And I think what's holding us back the most is the fact that I am a fucking fat ass. Like, there's no way this lasts us two weeks. I'm sorry, there's just no shot. Although there were a few things that we got that we probably didn't need. This block of Parmesan, which was like $4, probably could have bought in more tofu with that. This pork belly. This was $6.50, and we could have gotten something like way more price efficient. The only reason we got this is to eat this when, you know, we're feeling lazy as fuck. I just wanted to show you guys what Viv and I have been up to, um, grocery-wise, just because we've been spending a lot of money on food, because... Bro, like, I go back to some of my old videos, and it's like, damn, I spent, what, $200 on a meal? That's fucking insane. That's, like, mentally insane. This is a new era for me, okay, guys? It's a new era. So high. I'm budgeting better. I'm cooking more, I'm eating out less. So without further ado, let's get to it. Time for some dinner. What it do, baby? We about to get dinner here at Shake Shack. Oh, Eric, you just went grocery shopping. What happened to cooking? We're cooking. That's right. But I also need to try out their new chicken sandwich. Yeah. 
You see that hot one's chicken sandwich? <laughs> Me and Viv need to eat that. $14.24. That is a little bit unfortunate, but I'm hoping that the new chicken sandwich is worth the price. Probably not though. What the fuck? So I got my chicken sandwich and what I'm about to do is either going to make Viv laugh or it's going to piss her off. So uh, I'm willing to take my chances for the video, but I'm just gonna take a bite out of this first and then I'm gonna give it to her and she's gonna open it up. She's gonna be like, what the fuck, Eric? This Hot Ones chicken sandwich looks like absolute fucking dog shit, bro. The cheese, what the fuck is this? This is cold cheese, bro. $10, man. The bun is cold. The cheese is cold. I hope that it's somewhat decent. Otherwise, this was really not worth my money. First bite, here we go. What the fuck? That shit was unironically ass. Maybe I just got unlucky with the Shake Shack that I got this sandwich from, but that was super underwhelming. Honey, I'm home. Hi, honey. Oh, she called me honey. She wants me so bad. <laughs> I got you some fries here. Yeah. And then I also got the Shake Shack hot chicken sandwich. And I want you to take a bite. You already took a bite, you bitch. What? Wait, what are you talking about? What the fuck is that? Wait, yo, let me get a refund. I knew it. What? <laughs> Why is it so dry? That's what I'm saying, bro. $10. Is this $10? That's what I'm saying. $10. Bro. This is so dry. Do you see this? This is very, very, very dry chicken. All right. We're actually going to cook a chicken sandwich now. I feel a little bit motivated to just one up this piece of shit, bro. And I'm a huge fan of Shake Shack chicken sandwiches. I don't know what happened. That looks like rubber pencil eraser shavings. <laughs> now, Viv and I are not saying that we make the best fried chicken sandwiches ever. We're just saying we can make a better one than that piece of shit we had from Shake Shack. So this recipe is fairly simple. I think you can just follow along uh, visually, but we're gonna marinate some chicken thighs in some Frank's Red Hot. Uh, the thing is about using chicken thigh is that when you're frying it, it doesn't cook like super evenly. So maybe next time we'll probably use chicken breast, even the head breast, even though thigh tastes better than breast. Anyway, for the quote unquote breading, it's a couple of steps here. We're going to whisk an egg, water, salt, and flour together in a bowl until you get this kind of consistency. Kind of looks like cum and ranch mixed together. And then in another bowl, you're going to put in your seasoning. So it's going to be flour. But you can honestly use whatever you want. We just had this like Nashville hot pepper shit. And we're gonna mix that with salt as well. And that's it. You're gonna get a third bowl, put flour in that. And you're gonna lay the chicken on that. Coat it on both sides. And then coat it again with the egg, flour, and water mix. And then you're going to coat it again, this time with all your seasonings on both sides. Make sure you pack it tight and get all that flavor inside. And at this point, your oil should be hot by now, so you're going to place it on one side for two minutes. And then two minutes on the other side. While you're waiting for your chicken to get golden brown, you're gonna make the sauce, which is literally just QP mayo and a mix of sriracha. You can use pretty much anything you want for the sauce, whatever you like. This is just really simple and really easy. So you're just going to mix it together until you get a color like this. And then for our bun, we're actually using brioche bread uh, from Trader Joe's. We're gonna heat it up on a pan until it gets crispy on both sides, like so. And then we're just going to coat each side of the bread with our sauce. Put a piece of chicken on top of that. This one's fat as fuck, so it's for me. And from there, you can honestly do whatever you want. Like you can put cheese on it if you want. We put lettuce, like go wild. You could put like onions on, pickles. Oh, we should have put pickles on. That's what we were missing. Yeah, but just assemble your sandwich and bon appetit. Damn. Oh shit. Oh shit. Viv and I just made our spicy fried chicken sandwich and it looks fucking amazing. Not to gas ourselves up, but like compare this chicken sandwich to the one we got from Shake Shack. First bite, here we go. Mmm. The chicken's better. Crisp is better. Like, look at this, bro. Listen to this. That's what I want in a fried chicken sandwich. Okay, well, you can't really see the juice on camera, but. Mmm. 
Shit's juicy. That's all the eating that we're doing for tonight. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. And we're going to be cooking three fucking meals. <laughs> For those of you that religiously watch my videos on Tuesdays, thank you guys for sticking through. And if you just clicked on this video and watched till now, thank you so much. I really do appreciate every single one of you guys. I really do feel bad for you guys because I just recycle the same content every week and you guys just eat it up. Things are really going to change, I swear, because I'm going to Korea in about a month from now. And, uh, you know, from then on, it's just going to be like content every day, every week. Yeah, that's it for now. I will see you guys next week. Peace. Like, comment, and subscribe. The One Piece. The One Piece is real.